Hi, this is Josh from Shama Sandals, and we're gonna take a look at the mailbag and see what questions you got for today. Um, the first question comes from Robin. It says, hi Shama, I love my new sandals already. I've been wearing them every day and I'm very happy with them. Thank you so much, you're welcome. Uh, however, I do not see instructions on how to put on the classic power straps. I see a guide video on your website about putting on power straps for elite sandals, but it doesn't apply to the classic sandals. Sorry, but I'm not finding any instructions, written or video, regarding the classic straps. Can you send? Uh, video is preferred if you, have the, if you have that, but either way. Thanks again, I'm very happy with my old goats already. Three exclamation points. Awesome, Robin, great question, and I think you caught us. I don't think we actually have video instructions for the classic power straps. Um, let's see, What I, I guess what I'd like to say is they're very similar to the, you know what, let's make a little video right now. All right, Robin, to help answer your question, I'm gonna show you right now how to lace the classic uh, power strap. I've got a pair of all blacks here and an all black classic power strap. So the way that I would recommend doing this, now you could go either side, but typically on a regular power straps, there's a loop and it slips over the insole post. Um, so let's just set it up kind of like that. The first thing you're gonna do is unclasp the little uh, snap here on the bottom of the strap and slide it around the uh, the heel strap. Now remember, not the insole strap, the heel strap section. Go ahead and clasp it. Now it can slide around, so you can put it anywhere you want on the strap. Next thing you're gonna do, undo the hook and loop, and it's gonna go over the top of the ankle here, and you are going to feed it around the opposite side of the heel strap, on the opposite side of your foot, and pretty simple at this point, just set the hook and loop however tight you want it to be, and you can you know scoot it back and forth, but usually it'll be pretty much at this point where the, um, the two straps overlap. But that's it, that's the classic power strap installation, um, and just play with it, get it to an adjustment you like. Okay, Robin, hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoy uh, the power straps on your goats. All right, next question. Uh, hi, I recently, recently received my pair of Warriors, but the toe plugs are not flush with the soles. They stick out two to three millimeters. Is this normal? Okay, so um, for starters, I've actually got a couple pairs of, of Warriors here that are a little older, and um, I want you to see what happens to the Warriors. But the Warriors are extremely, extremely thin. There is not much going on here in terms of a sole, and that's why they're so cool, um, because this is just like basically a little protection, the smallest amount of protection you could basically get for your foot, so you can have a very minimalist barefoot experience. All right, so these are my wife's um, sandals. They've got the new lacing system on them, and so you said the toe plug, and I think you are probably, you might also be meaning the outsole post as well. But if you look at the toe plug here, a couple things happen. Um, at first it started out, it probably was maybe looking like that. It was probably sticking out a bit. But over time, the sandal, um, as you're running in it, two things are gonna happen. The toe plug's gonna wear down a little bit. And as it does that, it's also gonna push up into the uh, sandal a little bit. If you look closely at this sandal, it's kind of raised around the toe plug area, which is fine because the toe strap goes between your big toe and your second toe, and there's actually space there. So you can't even really feel it, and it's just gonna come up a little bit over time. Let me show you, here's a pair of Warriors that I wear. I've been wearing for probably since last summer, and if you see, it's kind of taken on the shape of my foot um, in a good way. So uh, right here, the toe plug is starting to pull up um, and it's got this little groove or indentation, um, a raised area that fits under my toes and in between my toes. And then if you look at the toe plug, it's doing fine. It's still technically sticking out a little bit, but I can't even feel it. Um, it doesn't slap or whatever, move around. It just stays where it's supposed to. But that's part of the breaking in process is what I wanna say. The other thing is here's, um, here are the toe plug, I'm sorry, the ankle 
um, the ankle plugs. And uh, this was kind of a big consideration for me when I was first testing these. You know, how would, would I feel the ankle plugs um, when I'm running because this is such a thin sandal. Now on the Chargers and Mountain Goats, they're fully embedded, but the Warriors again are so thin that they stick out a little bit. But it turns out it's fine. Um, if you'll notice on the side of the sandal, what the sandals do is they break in, they shape up to your foot. And so they're gonna start wrapping around your foot and all the pressure, the pulling from the plugs is gonna be pulling up. So the plugs, they're gonna wear a little bit, you know, as, as you break the sandals in. Um, and you, maybe you'll hear a little clicking here and there at, when you first get them and you haven't walked or run much in them, but over time, they're just gonna break in. The sandal's gonna curl around your foot. And there's gonna be very little contact with the plug and the ground, just kind of the way our old lacing system works. Um, people would ask, well, aren't, aren't the straps gonna wear out? Well, the reason is that we don't actually put much pressure here from that part of our foot. It's just past the heel and it's sort of a, at the, the beginning of the arch and sort of this outside of the foot, not much pressure there. So the, they hold up. So just so you know, for the new models, you might have a little break in period, but it's not going to be much. Um, I have a big foot. I wear a size 14 and it hasn't been a problem for me and my wife, She's got a more normal size foot. She wears a, a Shama size six and they work great for her too. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, next question says, hi, Molly. So this one's specifically to Molly who does the customer service. I'm, it says, I just wanted to follow up and let you know that the new lacing system is perfect. What a difference. It didn't take me any time at all to get the new get the lacing adjusted just right over the area of my foot that can swell a bit from my surgery. I love them. As I mentioned, when I returned the original pair, I used Luna's for about a year and have loved them. That said, I'm thinking the Shamas just might be more comfortable. I think you're right, Christine. Um, and I think, uh, and I didn't think anything could be more comfortable than my Luna's. So thanks for a, a great product and wonderful customer service. I think Molly put this part in as a plug for herself um, and her customer service, but she does a great job. So it's well-deserved. Good job, Molly. All right, Christine, uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Um, we put a lot of time and effort into the new lacing system. Uh, there's a lot more detail, uh, adjustability, and comfort, I think, than anything else out on the market. Um, I think they are really a big step forward for minimalist uh, sandals and, and their lacing system. So I'm really glad you appreciate them. And I also wanna say thanks to Molly for doing such a good job with customer service. It's a big job and um, she does a great job. So thanks Molly and thank you, Christine. And I guess that's it for the mailbag today. If you have any other questions, uh, please send them in to contact at shamasandals.com and you know, we'll answer them the best we can. So um, have a good one. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.